Hey, Bubble Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I picked up cheap at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, you name it, Facebook Marketplace, all source anywhere. Uh, I don't know if I have any from YouTube channels in this video or not. I might. We'll see. I've been sourcing on YouTube. So just sourcing, sourcing, sourcing. That's my favorite thing to do. Um, it's my favorite part about reselling is buying. What is your favorite part about reselling? Is it buying? Is it listing? Is it taking photos? Is it shipping? Tell me in the comments your favorite part of reselling. Um, also tell me, do you love your job or do you hate your job? Because I love my job. All right. Um, these are items to be on the lookout for items. You can buy low and sell high. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And I've got 29 bread and butter items coming your way. Again, $35 or less these items sold for. And we are going to start with, let me get my screen share up. And I'm going to take a moment to remind you guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this content, this type of content, feel free to share it out with your friends. There should be a share button. Let me pull this back up. Let's see if I can do this. Over, nope, over here. It says share. And you can just like share it to Twitter or share it to Facebook or share it. Uh... Pinterest. Yeah, that's the other one. I don't know. You can share it out if you want. If you so feel inclined, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's get started with the bolos. Enough talk about sharing, right? All right. The first item is this little cutie. Um, she is a play school dollhouse um, little girl or I, I don't know if she would be a toddler or a teenager. What do you guys think? Or maybe she's like seven or eight years old. How old do you think this doll is? <laughs> it's always so hard to tell. Like, I bet she's like six or seven, maybe five. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Okay, so on her back, let me see if I can zoom in. It says play school. It's hard to see. But this one is a rare. She is hard to find. When I looked up comps on her, I could not find her. So um, I priced her high. And I priced her, um, you know, it says I took a best offer of $20. I'm surprised I did that because am I in the right? Yeah, I am. Hmm. Um, I'm surprised I took 20. I must have been having a slow sales day. Do you guys ever do that when your um, sales are low and you take an offer that you wouldn't typically take? And I don't know why that first picture is not showing. Um, but yeah, I took a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $28.42. The next item I sold is this vintage 1999 brand new Brandy Singer doll. And you can see right here, it says Mattel, but on her neck, it says brand new. So I just went ahead and but put both things in the title. I'm not really sure what that means, but I sold her for... Okay, I see what I did. This is what I took a best offer of 20 on and the buyer paid shipping. This one sold for the full asking price of $30.40. I didn't think that sounded right. So when I wrote it down on my paper, I accidentally swapped where they were at. So, all right, so that makes more sense. Uh, this Simpsons playset, if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you know that the Simpsons are a bolo. These are the world of Springfield. And if you'd like to see how these function, I do have another YouTube channel called Reseller Testing Products. And I show you some of the play sets, how they work. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. Um, I sold this for $31.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. This came from a bulk lot of Simpsons items that I purchased at a thrift store for like a steal of a deal. Um, it was to a, a big box and I think a tote and I think the thrift store just needed it gone um, because it was taking up so much space. Uh, I cannot remember what I paid for it. I want to say like 10 or $15. It was ridiculously an amazing price. It was the find of the year, I think. 
And the next item is this Boyd's Snow Dudes. I don't know. D-O-O-O-D-E-S. I wonder if I, if that's a typo. Let me see here. Tree hugger. I don't know where I got that. I don't know what that is. Maybe I did sell similar from someone else's listing because I have no idea. But I sold this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, I always tell you guys, I do pretty good with Boyd's Bear Plush and people kind of laugh at me because they don't. But for some reason, my Boyd's Bear Plush do pretty good. Uh, these figurines, not so much. I'm not as much of a fan. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle. And again, I bought a bulk buy of Bionicles and Transformers. So I probably got a couple bucks in this and I sold it for $25 plus shipping. The next item I sold are these Mm, bobble bar, I think is how you pronounce it. They are signed. Let me see if I can find you right there on the back. It's really obvious. Um, I've done pretty well with this brand, not big money or anything like that, but a nice bread and butter item. They're Howlite drop dangle earrings. And I sold these for full asking price of $14 and 39 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And these came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. 344 pound bulk buy. And again, I have a playlist on that if you'd like to check it out. The next item came out of a mystery box and I sold this pretty quickly for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a VTEC Sing and Soar butterfly. It's new in the packaging. Um, not really high comps or anything like that, but being that it was new in the package, I went ahead and listed it. The next item I sold is kind of an unexpected bolo in my mind. Um, when I searched comps on this, I was really surprised at what these were selling for. It's a Transformer Rescue Bot. It's Chase the Resco Rescue Dino Bot. It's a mini dino. Let me show you here. I've got a tape measure up against it. And so what? Like a little under four inches. This sold for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And this was also in a mystery box. My little Boyd's Bear. You guys know I like the Boyd's Plush. This came from a lot of Boyd's Bear plush that I purchased a long time ago um, at a garage sale, and I had about a buck in this. And I took a best offer of $9, and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this is a Loving Family dollhouse. It, Loving Family is Fisher Price, and FP, I just put that sometimes if I don't have room for Fisher Price. But this table actually closes and opens. How cool is that? It's a little scuffed up. Um, I sold this for $14 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I usually pick these up in bulk with like a dollhouse. So probably have a couple bucks or a doll, maybe, maybe a dollar. It just depends how much furniture comes with it. Probably a dollar. Let's safely say probably a dollar. This one came from a garage sale. It is a bronze series 3050 CC men's electric shaver. And I actually took the head off of the razor. I think that's what it's called. And I had to like brush it out and it was kind of disgusting. I'm not sure I would buy these again, but I picked up a lot at a garage sale. I think I paid $10 for like four or five razors, this thing and like some liquid, this thing only it was new in the box. Did I make a lot of money on it? Yeah, I did pretty good. But again, I did not enjoy the grossness of cleaning somebody else's hair out of this thing. And I did put a glove on, but it was just gross. Um, what do you guys do? Do you pick these up? Do you think it's gross? Doesn't bother you? I don't know. I'm kind of weird about that stuff. So $25 on this one and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this West Wing Complete Series DVD set. It is sealed. This came from a garage sale. I think I paid 50 cents for it. Maybe it was a dollar. Sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, these vintage um, bob pins is what they're calling them. Uh, so they're vintage and the advertising is just really cool. Um, rubber tipped bob pins. I probably should have put bobby pins because that's what I remember them being called when I was a kid. They sold for $14.39 and the buyer paid shipping. These came from a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of Disney Tigger, like Tigger and Pooh. 
and um, a bunch of hair stuff like vintage uh, aprons and hair things and vintage aprons are a bolo just FYI. The next item I purchased two of these on eBay. I was going to use them for my YouTube channel because they said high five and you blow them up and you can put them on your hand. And I was, I don't know, I was going to use them. And then I was like, I don't want to use them. I don't like that idea. But I ended up reselling them. I sold them separately. When I bought them, they were a lot. Um, and I made some money actually. Um, big money, no, but I made my money back plus some money. So that's a win for something that I was planning on using and decided not to. Um, I sold these for $25 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see I sold two. The next item I sold, okay, so this, I think this was a Facebook marketplace and they just gave me a bunch of stuff and I paid one price for it. I always ask, do you have anything else? And then I just bundle it all together. I do it on Facebook. I do it at garage sales. I love to bundle. These I wasn't going to list because I'm like, eh, but they actually sold pretty quickly and they sold for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. So I was glad I listed them. I was actually surprised that they went so fast. So good thing about mystery boxes, sourcing on YouTube, like the dibble boxes that I buy from Donatella Bottolino or the things that I buy from auctions for you that are in lots. They may not be things that I would typically source. And if I list them and they sell fast, I remember that for the next time. So it's a great way to learn mystery boxes are. The next item is this massager. I picked this up at an estate sale. I paid $2 for it. It sold pretty quickly for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. And it did work. It heats up and it also has the vibration mode. The next item is another thing that came on Facebook Marketplace. It was in a lot of items that I picked up. This is a Chalet Dorf Goat and it comes with a little water dish and um, the straw that it can stand on. Super cute. Uh, comps were pretty good on this. So I sold this for $12 plus shipping and it sold pretty quickly. The next item is this Betty Spaghetti Dog. Um, never heard of it, never seen it. I think this came either out of a garage sale buy or it was, I think this was in the garage sale tote, but it could have been a mystery box. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But when I say that, that means I probably got it for very little because, um, typically in the mystery boxes, it's a bag of small toys like this. And if you divide it out by what I paid for the box, it ends up being pretty cheap. So $12.79, the buyer was all in for $18.70. The next item is this vintage Levi's Red Tag Corduroy Small Bag Hand Purse. I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for full asking price on the sale price of $17.59 plus shipping. Okay, this is kind of a fun one. This came from a garage sale and I bought a bunch of buttons. Actually, nope, I'm sorry. This came from another garage sale. And there was a bunch of just stuff. And these were in there in a little baggie. And they're mother of pearl buttons. How cool is that? And I took a best offer of $9.61 and the buyer paid shipping. And I probably had a nickel in that. The next one is this Loving Family Dollhouse doll. And I think she's the mom. And she sold for $20 plus shipping. The next item is another cat's meow item. This came from a bulk buy at a garage sale. I bought like three boxes full of cat's meow. I will tell you, I did not enjoy listing these items. It was so boring, but they have been a consistent bread and butter seller. Um, I sold it for $14.39 plus shipping. And I'm guessing, I want to say it came to like 15 or 30 cents each. I can't remember the number, but it wasn't much. The next item I sold is this Disney cars um, and planes. It's a lot, just a lot of toys, kids toys, um, but they're all from the movie cars and planes. So they're the ones with the eyeballs. You can do decent when you lock these up, not big money or anything. Uh, I took a best offer of $22 and the buyer paid shipping. I 
get these everywhere. Garage sales, thrift stores, you name it. If I see them, I buy them if they're cheap. Okay, this frog is from Disney Princess Disney Princess as the frog, Tiana frog figure. I don't know. I used somebody else's uh, uh, title and then I kind of tweaked it. I sold this for $9.59 plus shipping. This is the frog princess cake topper, but it's just the frog and he's on a lily pad. He's tiny, not even three inches and he's super cute, but yeah, almost 10 bucks for that guy. The next item that sold is another cake topper set, or I mean, they say cake toppers, but they can be used as cake toppers or just toys that kids play with. This is the Zootopia set of four. And I believe these came out of a mystery box. I cannot remember again, or I got them at a garage sale, something like that. Not much in them, super cheap. Took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Barbie skirt which is actually a top. I thought it was a skirt, but it's a top, a pajama top and this apron. And I sold these both to the same person for $17. Buyer was all in for 22. The next item is this Disney fairies Tinkerbell doll. And I got her at a garage sale and she was $2 and I sold her for $31.99. The buyer paid shipping. Anytime I can get boxed Barbies, box, Tinkerbells, Disney characters, anything that is new in the box that I can get cheap, I will pick it up. So the next item are these Fitz and Floyd kitty cats. Um, I don't think it was this video that I was talking about it, but this one day I went into the thrift store and I was buying all of these breakables. I don't know what I was doing guys, but I will tell you breakables sell. I've done really well. So these Fitz and Floyd kitty cat trio figurines that are playing these instruments sold super quick. This one's got a little chip on his ear and I just disclose that information if there's a chip or anything, but they are marked F and F on the bottom. I got these at a garage, I'm um, sorry, a thrift store for $3. You can see there's a repair right here. So I just take photos and disclose it. $3 at a thrift store. They sold for a best offer of $24 pretty quickly. The buyer was all in for $37.14. And the last item is this vintage phonograph miniature dollhouse record player. I sold this for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $20.76. Now, if you are watching my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, you actually saw this picture or saw this item because I held it up and showed you guys in the camera. So if you're not watching Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, definitely go check out that channel. That is the channel that I just started about a month ago. And over there I'm doing my um, haul videos. Um, so when I'm out sourcing, if I'm at garage sales, thrift with me. Um, I hope to do an estate sale someday. Um, I've not been brave enough to take my camera in yet. Uh, I did a flea market the other day. I did not, um, I didn't buy anything. So I still may release the video because there was some really, really neat stuff. And I'd like to get you guys' feedback again over on my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So go check that out. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.